What's up, guys? Welcome to another Ixalan draft. Uh, sorry, I haven't been recording much lately. I've been really sick, um, and I didn't want to just be like sneezing all over the stream. Um, hopefully, I'm not coughing too much this time. But uh, anyway, in this pack, we got Ripjaw Raptor, one of the best rares you can open. Uh, just a sweet card overall. Um, four five for four that draws you a card whenever it's dealt damage is so powerful. So almost for sure gonna be taking that. Um, other good cards, Dead Eye Plunders is cool, but it's kind of rough first picking a double uh, or a gold card. Um, the Archer is just fine. I haven't been as impressed with it. Um, there are some things it can ping, but usually it's just a one four reach. Um, it can trigger and rage, but then your Archer dies. Uh, Vampire Zeal is fine. Anointed Deacon's pretty good in the Vampire's deck, but yeah. We're gonna slam Ripjaw Raptor. Ooh, Dowsing Dagger. Is that card what we want here? Make two plants. Let's see. Probably not. So, other cards we have, we have a Deep Root Warrior, which is okay. I think it's the safest pick. It's in our colors. And Ripjaw Raptor very good. And this card has a very solid 2-drop. Um, but in the uncommons we have Raptor Hatchling and Bonded Horncrest, which are both excellent. Um, Tillinolly's Knight, also great, and Thrash of Raptors is pretty solid. And Fire Cannon Blast. Um, I think I might actually take the Deeper Warrior. And reason being is that there's so many good red cards that someone, like, probably the person next to me and next to me is going to end up taking red. Because, like, this card's great, this card's great, this card's great, this card's great, this card's great. So if I take the only green card, then they're not seeing much red. Uh, maybe that's a risky pick, but I think Deeper Warrior's good enough that I can pass on these off-color cards and not try and get over a fight in all these red cards that are going around. <laughs> kind of punished seeing even more excellent red cards. Um, we can just take a commune with the dinosaurs. This card is quite good. If we end up being in, at the very least, green dinosaurs. Um, yeah, Stormfleet Arsonist is okay. Rigging Runner is good. Uh, if you have a lot of low drops. And Rummaging Goblin is fine. I do really like Skullduggery as well. And, yeah, there's some good black-white cards. But I think commune is just the pick here. Okay, uh, this is going pretty well now. Um, so we have Merfolk Branchwalker, which is just a great card. Uh, two mana, two one, explores when it enters. Just one of the best two drops you can ask for. I think it's better than the Archerer, especially if we don't know exactly what uh, direction we're headed. Maybe we're blue-green Merfolk splashing a Ripdraw Raptor. We're not splashing, but like, it's just going in any green deck we're playing. Um, I think that's better than the Archer. Um, okay, so we have Shadowed Caravel. Whenever a creature we control explores, that gets bigger. That's pretty good. We also have New Horizons and Opt. So the baseline on this is pretty poor. Just a uh, 2 mana 2-2, two, two, Crew 2 is pretty mediocre. Um, if we can get enough Explore creatures, this does get better. And Blue-Green Explore is um, a color combination that exists. Um, alternatively, we could just take a New Horizons, but I think I want to try this card out. I've never played with it, and I think we can pick one of these up. I think the other pick would maybe be Opt, but this card could be good. If we end up with a bunch of Explore cards, I mean, like a 2-mana 4-4 is pretty awesome. Okay, I think, ooh, this is tough, actually. So we have a Jade Guardian and River Herald Spoon. Both excellent pickups. I think... Better than Colossal Dreadmore or Blossom Dryad. That's actually very tough. Because um, River Herald's Boon is great if you have cards like Jade Guardian, but Jade Guardian's great if you have cards like River Herald's Boon. <laughs> um, what I'm trying to think is which one is a better card to take so I'm not sending signals that Merfolk is open. I think I'm just going to take the 2-drop first, and then grab Jade Guardian? Is that true? Yeah, I'm gonna take the 2-drop. I think Jade Guardian is a little bit easier to pick up. 
later on. Uh, here we're gonna grab Run Aground almost for sure. Um, it's looking like we're kind of going into Merfolk, and Run Aground. I mean, Headwater Sentries is a Merfolk, but it's a pretty medium Merfolk. Not a huge fan of Raiders Wake. Um, Paladin of the Bloodstain is good, but I mean, we have the the setup for a pretty good green blue Merfolk deck. Maybe that was a reason to take Jade Guardian, as it's just good on its own, even if I don't have a River Herald's Boon. But I'm gonna take Run Aground. Um, none of these cards are particularly amazing. I'm gonna take a Pirate's Prize. As cool as Ryle is with Ripjaw Raptor, I think that's a little too cute. And this card it could be playable. Wow, people really don't like this Archer. I mean, I think I'll take it now. Like it's. It's fine. It's just a 3 mana 1 4. Um, passing on a Diviner, Kinjali's Caller. It's a pretty late Vampire Zeal, but I think I'm just gonna grab the Archer. Wow, what? What? Thrash of Raptors and Tillinolly's Night Wield. Jeez. Well, I only have one dinosaur right now. These cards are great. I think I'm just gonna take... Oh, Cancel's so bad. That that was definitely the wrong pick. I just ran out of time. Here, I think I'm gonna speculate on a Legion Conquistador over Exali's Diviner. Because, yeah, I can pick up plenty of those if I need them. So... Right now we know we're green. Oh! Uh, Exali's Diviner is great with Shadowed Caravel. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, still... Still a little woozy. Yeah, that's a... Whoa! What is going on in this draft? There's some, like, really good cards going really late. Like, this card's great. In the Dinosaur deck. And actually, if we just get a bunch of Exali's Diviners... Hang on, hang on. Okay, starting over, starting over. What if... What if... Like, Exali's Diviner with this guy is just a 2-mana 4-4, four four, which is awesome. Wow, okay, so we have Lightning Strike, which is excellent. Uh, I think it's better than Pounce, but given that we're base green, I think I'm going to take Pounce over Lightning Strike. It's just easier to cast. For a similar effect, um, interestingly enough, the Brontodon only makes combat damage, so Pounce, uh, their fighting isn't affected by the toughness boost on this. And I think Pounce is better than Daring Seb. I think Sabator would be better if we knew for sure we were blue green, um, but we only really have Run Aground and like the promise of Merfolk. But maybe that's not even the case. Maybe we end up uh, green-white toughness creatures and play this Brontodon. So I'm going to grab this Pounce and see where that takes us. Really kind of wish I had that Exali's Diviner over this cancel now. Didn't think I was going to wheel a belligerent Brontodon, like, second to last pick. Wow, okay. Um, so we have another Pounce or a Legion's Landing. Blishup of the Bloodstained. That card seems sweet too. Contract Killing also quite good, but I think we're just going to grab another Pounce. This card is quite solid. And... Yeah, I'm not too excited about Legion's Landing. Just staying in green and maybe we even mend up mono green, who knows. But yeah, this card's great. Little Herald's Boon. <clears throat> yes, I like saw a bunch of Merfolk. Like, this card was super late. And then there were no Merfolk. And then I got this really late. Like, I don't know what's going on in this draft. I mean, we're not in terrible shape. I think we're doing okay, but it's just very strange so far. 
Okay, <laughs> there's another pounce. There's Sun Petal Grove. There's no great green card. Maybe we just take a third pounce? I don't know. We only have six creatures right now, and none of them are very big. Um, it is a sweet combo with Rip Draw Raptor, though. We can just go off. This is really tough. Sun Petal Grove is good. Ugh. Is three too many? I don't know how many is too many. I need some bigger creatures now with all these pounces. I really kind of want to take this Grove, but I think that's just worse than this card. Yeah, we're three pounces. Ooh, Vine Shaper Mystic. Can pump up Merfolk. Boosts toughness. Okay. I'll take that. Start grabbing some Merfolk here. <laughs> this is becoming a really strange deck. Put it that way. But I think this card is great. The baseline is a 3 mana. Ooh, Rip Draw. Okay. This card is excellent with all the pounces we have. Okay, now we're doing okay. Maybe we can grab this Grazing Whiptail on the wheel. But this card's awesome. Uh, I will take this Looming Aldosaur if it comes around. It's so good with Blitter and Brontodon. Okay, Water Trap Weaver is excellent. Probably what I want to take. There's also a Glacial Fortress, but I think having mana that's like in our double splash colors isn't great. We're not even for sure white. And Water Trap Weaver is awesome. Probably better than Exali's Diviner. and It is a Merfolk too. Okay, with Ranging Raptors and Rip Draw Raptor, all these pounces are great so far. I'm not sold on the Shadow Terravo. I think it's possible that I want to put in these blue cards. Ooh, okay. Thundering Spineback versus Jade Guardian. That's tough. Probably Jade Guardian here. With all the pounces, having a creature that its baseline is a 3-3, and I can pump it up with some of the um, other Merfolk synergies I have. And right now my curve looks pretty low. And I don't really see the merit in putting some random 7-drop in what seems, you know, like a pretty solid low-to-the-ground Merfolk deck so far. So I'm going to take the Jade Guardian over the spine back. River Herald's Boon, okay. That's perfect. Um... Yeah, I think I can pick up Windstriders later. Shipwreck Looter is just okay, but this card is like an all-star in the Merfolk deck. Storm Sculptor. We can bounce our Jade Guard. We actually have a lot of good creatures to bounce with Storm Sculptor. Um, Crushing Canopy versus a Running Ground. I think the sideboard Crushing Canopy is better than the second Running Ground. Maybe that's wrong, though. Destroy target creature with flying. I actually have so many pounces, I'm just going to take running ground. Here we can take opt. I don't really need cobbled wings, I don't think. I'm not a huge fan of it, and opt is pretty good filler. New Horizons, much more playable than the Brontodon. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm beyond the Brontodon hopes. Uh, I might play that. Wait, do we have another pack? Jeez, we have another pack. Okay, this is... Uh, I don't really want Pirate's Prize. Yeah, we can be super picky now. This card seems bad. This card seems bad. Commune with the Dinos. We only have one dinosaur. Uh, I guess... Okay, this card's considerable. Because it finds two of our best cards. Storm Sculptor's good. Headwater Sentries I don't really want to play. Not a huge fan of New Horizons. Ooh. Okay, wow. There's a lot. We <laughs> take Pounce number four. Just be jumping all over. So Dreamcaller Siren. For us is just a 4 mana 3 3 flash flying. Which is not super amazing. Um, so I think probably not taking that. For us it's either Tempest Caller or a Deep Root Warrior. And I think Tempest Caller is just better. It just taps all their guys. 
can win board stalls. It's a card to draw two. You know, if you're like, the game stalls out, you're like, oh, I at least have this card in my deck I can win with. Um, alternatively, we only have... <laughs> we only have two good two drops right now. And our four drop slot is pretty contested. Um, with triple pounce, we kind of do want some low to the ground plays. I'm actually going to take Deep Root Warrior. That might be crazy, but I need a good mana curve here. Um, okay. I keep thinking this card is good, and then I read it, and I'm like, oh, it's terrible. Uh, so now we have a tough choice between One with the Wind and Shaper's Apprentice. So One with the Wind is great with uh, Jade Guardian, some of our other low to the ground merfolk, but I think I actually just need a Shaper Apprentice because I only have 10 creatures with 3 pounces, 2 River Herald's boons. I have a lot of ways to like Voltron up my creatures, but I don't have very many creatures, so for the same reason I took Deeper Warrior over the uh, tap all their guys creature, I'm going to take Shaper Apprentice over the one with the wind, but I would like this in my deck very much, I just need more creatures. Um, okay, here's a Jade Guardian. Primal Amulet's sweet, but really hard to do in Limited. Red Maw's okay, but Jade Guardian's pretty much what we want. Uh, so we have Storm Sculptor. Or a Dagger Tooth. I think Storm Sculptor's just better. Uh, this is good to bounce. This is good to bounce. This is really good to bounce. This is good to bounce. Jade Guardians are good to bounce. Yeah, I think Storm Sculptor's fine. Okay, probably just a Wayfinder here. Uh, I need more threes. Some Merfolk, it explores. Pretty much does what I want. The Archer again is okay, but not super amazing in this deck. Choose a creature type, add a mana, so I can name Merfolk. And this actually is pretty good fixing here. I'm not really going to be playing anything else, so I'm just going to take the Merfolk fixing land. Another Wayfinder is pretty nice. Not missing out on much. Black seems quite open. Okay, Windstrider actually is pretty solid here. Wow, that's a late Sky Terror. Jeez. Um, Siren's Ruse. I don't have any pirates. I guess I can take the Diviner if my opponent's super aggressive. But probably not playing it. So I can cut a card? Unless I just play 16 lands. How many explorers do I have? One, two, three. Three explorer cards. Opt and commune with the dinosaurs. 24 lands. I think that's actually okay. Commune with the dinosaurs is almost always just gonna hit a land. Yeah, this deck's starting to look pretty good. Double Jade Guardian. I really want to get one with the wind back. I would probably put that in for a Storm Sculptor. So that'll be a swap if that card wheels. Uh, I don't think it did. No, so we're just going to take this, I guess. Uh, I guess if for some reason I want to splash a card. Maybe it's this pack. Yeah, it's not coming around. I guess this card's just better. I'm never gonna play Shorekeeper, and this card's annoying to play against. I know in leagues, like, hate drafting does very little, but you gotta draft as if it was a real da draft. At least for the videos. Um, Double Wayfinder, Vine Shaper Mystic. Yeah, this deck looks pretty solid. Double Deeper Warrior. I guess I'm mostly on the fence about this Archer now. Uh, <laughs> I could have so many Diviners. 
I guess eventually it could make this card worthwhile. But the problem is Diviner can't even crew the Caravel. So that's pretty bad. Queen's Commission. Black White was very, very open this draft. Which is weird that I got so many good Merfolk cards. But I'll take it. Um, 24 land? Yeah, I think I can play this with 24 land. So... 6 island... No, I think actually 5 island is fine. Double Splashing Storm Sculptor. Maybe I want just a run aground instead of the other Storm Sculptor. Because I have like a lot of low drops. That's tough. Headwater Sentries, no. Pirate's Prize, not really for this deck. Running ground versus another. I guess I'll start out with two unblockable guys. It's hard to go wrong with a three 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 two unblockable. So I think we're gonna start like this and go from there. See you guys around one.